pattern loading problem seen recently on the CE licensure exam. Hello everyone, this is Dela Cruz Engineering Video Tutorial. And in this video, we will solve a past board problem similar to a past board problem. Okay? And specifically this was on our time May 2019 CE licensure exam. Okay? Without further ado, let's start to solve. So, refer to the figure shown. So, this is the framing plan na binigay. Okay? And we have the dimensions here, the slab thickness, the beam dimension, and the loads. Okay? The loads is in terms of pressure. Okay? For dead load, that is 4.8 kilopascal. For live load, that is 5 kilopascal. And we have the load combination dito na binigay. Okay? So, the dead load here is all weights included na. Okay? So, if you are to analyze a beam, that should be included the beam weight. So, the problems are a maximum factored moment in the beam BEHK. Factored shear and factored reaction. So, as you can see in the problem, we are to focus on beam BEHK. Okay? So, the problem here is binigay yung kuhan dito, no? Yung factored, I mean, yung um, pattern loading, ha? binigay ito sa CE licensure exam. So, sure naman ako ibibigay talaga ito. Okay. So, what's the first step here? So, as you see, um, we have to distribute the load from the slab to the beam. Kailangan natin i-distribute yan patungo sa beam. But, how will we do this? So, take note, this um, slab is supported on all sides, okay? Considering lang this A, B, D, E na slab, no? It is supported on all spans, okay? On the short span and the long span. So, theoretically, it, it is a two-way slab or two-way bending, okay? Therefore, the loads from the slab is distributed in two-way direction talaga. That is the theoretical um, uh, analysis dito. Dapat two-way yung mo, distribution ng loads. Unless if the one span only is loaded, so uh, that will be bending on one span lang. That is the one-way slab. Okay? But, ito. This is from the ASIP notes, no? So, ito yung ginagawa pala nila. Na my rule of thumb this is this is the ratio of the long span over the short span so sinabi nila na the comparison of one way and two way slab is ito one way and two way slab action carries load into two directions okay so generally daw one way slab is the long the ratio of the long side and the short side must be greater or equals to 2 so otherwise dito if hindi siya umabot sa 2 that should be considered as um, two-way slab. Okay? That is the rule of thumb dito. Okay? So, if we'll take the ratio of the long span over the short span, ito yun, 5.5 over 3, that is 1.83. So, as using this rule of thumb, that should be um, taken as a two-way slab. Okay? But take note, hindi natin i-design yung slab dito. We will be considering the beam lang, okay? Yung load na ikikerry ng beam because of this um, um, comparison of the slabs, okay? Or the distribution of the loads, okay? So, that can be considered as two-way distribution. So, ganito yung magiging itsura nyan. Again, that is lesser than 2.0. So, that is a two-way distribution. So, if we will distribute the load here, it's ganito. Uh, the beam AB and DE will carry this trapezoidal loading. Okay? Trapezoid yung ikikerry nila. While this beam AD and BE will carry this triangular load, um, the remaining load. Okay? Yan yung distribution ng loads natin. Well, we will consider this BEH, you know, the, because that is the focus on the problem. And similar, all this distribution is similar sa kanya lang. Okay? Well, if we will to isolate the this BEHK, okay, let's isolate that, and the length here must be, ano yung length dito? 
that is 3 meters, 3 meters, and also 3 meters, the S lang. Okay? And the low distribution dyan, I take note, this is the reactions, no? And the low distributions dyan, as you see here, is just triangular distribution. Okay? Ito yung andito sa distribution natin. Unless, if we are to analyze D, E, and F, the distribution dyan is trapezoidal. Ito. Okay? And this is composed of the dead load and the live load. This is the load combination na binigay. Okay. Now, for pattern loading, uh, ang nasa pattern loading is uniformly distributed load. Dapat yung gamitin natin. Okay? Uniformly distributed load. Well, this is the this must be the load here. Okay? Because ito yung nasa pattern loading na ibinigay. Dapat uniformly distributed. Now, how to convert those triangular load into uniformly distributed load? Okay, so that is composed of dead load and live load. So, ito yung um, ano, equivalent load. For triangular load, may formula tayo dyan. That is the W for the pressure PU, factored pressure times the S, the small span, divided by 3. Ganito natin i-convert yung uh, triangular load pag triangle, no? I-convert natin into uniformly distributed. Now, for trapezoidal load naman, um, converting that into uniformly distributive load, this is the formula, PUS over 3 times this quantity. Well, in this problem, we can use this lang, triangular load. Okay? So, we will use this and computing the dead load here, that is PUS, so the factored pressure of dead load is, uh, we have the factor dito, no? 1.2 times the dead load, that is 4.8. Okay? PUS, then the spacing or the S is 3 and divided by 3. But we have to multiply it by 2 because as you see here, it is carrying load from this lab and also from this lab. Kaya multiply by 2 yan. Okay? And that is 11.52 kilonewtons per meter na. Ito na yung unit natin. Hindi na siya in pressure. Okay? Distributive load na siya. Now, for live load naman, PUS over 3 pa rin. So, the factor for live load is 1.6. Then, the live load here is 5 kPa. Times 3 over 3 times 2 pa rin. Kaya, uh, kasi nga, eh, carrying a distributive load from each span of the slab. Okay? So, that is just 16 kilonewtons per meter. So, ito yung gagawin natin pag pattern loading. Okay? Dapat i-isolate natin yung dead load at live load. Okay? So, makikita nyo ano yung significance yan. Okay, since we have the datas na, and we are to consider this BEHK, ito yung pattern loading na ibinigay. Okay? I hope klaro lang sa inyo ito. So, for number one, the maximum factored moment kilonewtons in the beam daw. Ano yung maximum factored moment moment in the beam using this pattern loading na ibinigay? So, ito yung gagawin natin. We will isolate the due to dead load and to live load. And we will find the most um, critical or the maximum combinations of moments dito to the beam. Okay? For the dead load, we are to look at this. All spans loaded dapat. Because the dead load is present at all um, parts of the beam. Okay? Andyan yan parate. Hindi, hindi yan pwede na hindi mo lagyan ng load dito or dito. Dapat nandyan siya all throughout the span of the beam. While the live load, we can choose any combinations here. Okay? Either here or dito. So, if we are to find the maximum combination of the moment, so here is the moment, no? So we are to focus the moment diagrams here, the moment diagram here, and the moment diagram here. Well, for dead load, we are to focus here. So the maximum moment, as you can see, will occur at the continuous point or the fixed point dito, okay? That should be the point 0.1 WL squared, okay? Focus lang sa coefficient niya. Tingnan nyo, this is 0.1, the others are uh, lesser, no? 0 0.08, 0 0.025, so this is the maximum, okay? This is the maximum moment. If we are to find the 
maximum moment due to live load is andito yan okay look at this the moment here is 0.1167 well if you look at this that is less lesser value and also this is a lesser value well if we are to use this combination of live load the mid span is not loaded the moment here is just 0.05 okay therefore the maximum combination here is just ito this 0.1 and this 0.1167 okay if you are to add that that should be the maximum combination now um, due to live load that is 0.1 wl squared okay now this is la uh, dead load so we have to use the dead load wud dito okay so substituting that that is just 310.368 kilonewtons meter so disregard na lang this negative sign because that is for negative bending lang Okay, and due to live load naman, this is the maximum, okay? So, that is 0.1167, since that is the live load, so we will use the live load W here, okay? That is the 16, and that is the live load, okay? So, the maximum moment of the beam BEHK is just the summation of this dead load and live load. So we are to add that. That is 10.368 plus 16.805. So, this regards the negative sign man na dito, ha? Because we, they are both negative naman. Okay? And we are to calculate the absolute value of the maximum moment. So, the answer is here is 27.17 kilonewtons meter. Okay? So, ganito lang yan pag-solve. I-add mo lang lahat yung maximum na makikita mo, na ma maximum combination nila. Okay? How about Part 2, the maximum shear in the beam BEHK. Again, we are to isolate the dead load and the live load here. The maximum shear. So, we are to focus the shear diagram. Dito, shear diagram. This is also the shear diagram. And this is for the shear diagram. Okay? So, for the dead load, dito tayo titingin always. Eh? All span loaded. So, what is the maximum shear sa dead load? That is 0.6. Okay, this is the maximum dito. That is 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.5, 0 0.4. Okay? If you are to locate that here, the maximum shear is also 0.617. Okay? This is the maximum. If we are to add that, that will give us the maximum shear of the beam. Okay? If we are to find a, another combination, uh, look at this. If we are to focus on A, that is 0 0.4 and 0 0.383. So, that is smaller. So, there is no other way na makikita natin yung maximum dito lang 0 0.6 and 0 0.617 okay for dead load that is 0 0.6 WL so W must be dead load dito 11.52 and that should give us 20.736 kilonewtons for live load naman we will use this combination uh, this coefficient na no? 0.617 again we will use the live load here that is 16 and 29.616 and the maximum live load, or, uh, I mean the maximum shear due to this combination is i-add mo lang yung dalawa. Okay? That should give us this answer. Okay? That is very e easy lang, no? Uh, how about part 3? The maximum factor the reaction. For here, the reaction naman. So, we are to focus the reactions dito lang. This one. And for this, this is one. And also this one. Okay? same drill dead load and live load then we are to find the maximum combination of the reactions so as we can see here for dead load the maximum here is 1.1 1 .1. okay if we will look at this this is 0 0.5 0 0.55 and if we are to look at this combination 1.2 and that is obvious obviously this is the greater value so ito yung i-add natin dito okay so, wala nang ibang co maximum combination dyan if we are to look at the side and to the side. Ito lang talaga, 1.1 1 .1 and 1.2. Okay? So, we will use this as for live load, a uh, dead load. Ayun. 1.1 1 .1 and substitute here the dead load. That is 38.016 kN. Okay? For live load naman, we are to use this. 1.2 WL and that should give us 57.6 kN meter. And we, if, if we are to add that, this is the answer. 95.616 kilonewtons. Yun. That's it. 
So, I hope nakatulong ito. Okay? So, if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do subscribe. And please click the bell icon in order for you to be notified pag nag-upload ako ng mga bagong tutorials. Okay? Thank you everyone and God bless.